the comprehensive guide to understanding different types of diabetes. Diabetes is a chronic condition that affects millions of people worldwide. It's a metabolic disorder where the body is unable to properly regulate blood sugar levels due to issues with insulin production or function. For those newly diagnosed or seeking to understand more about this condition, it's essential to know that diabetes is not a one-size-fits-all disease. There are several types of diabetes, each with unique characteristics, causes, and treatments. This comprehensive guide will delve into the various types of diabetes, providing a clear and detailed overview. One, type one diabetes, insulin-dependent diabetes. Type one diabetes, also known as insulin-dependent diabetes, is an autoimmune condition where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys insulin-producing beta cells in the pancreas. This type typically develops in children and young adults, although it can occur at any age. People with type 1 diabetes need to take insulin injections or use an insulin pump to manage their blood glucose levels. Key Characteristics On autoimmune nature, the immune system attacks pancreatic cells. 2. Insulin dependence requires daily insulin administration. Onset Usually occurs in childhood or adolescence. Symptoms 1. Frequent urination Extreme thirst 3. Unexplained weight loss. 4. Fatigue. 5. Blurred vision. Management. 1. Insulin therapy. 2. Blood sugar monitoring. 3. Healthy diet and regular exercise. 2. Type 2 diabetes, non-insulin dependent diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is the most common form of diabetes, primarily linked to lifestyle factors and genetic predisposition. In this condition, the body either becomes resistant to insulin or the pancreas fails to produce enough insulin. It typically develops in adults over the age of 45, but increasing numbers of younger individuals, including children and teenagers, are being diagnosed due to rising obesity rates. Key Characteristics 1. Insulin resistance Body cells don't respond effectively to insulin. 2. Lifestyle factors Strongly associated with obesity, poor diet, and physical inactivity. 3. Onset usually in adults but increasingly common in younger populations. Symptoms 1. Increased thirst and hunger 2. Frequent urination 3. Weight gain or difficulty losing weight 4. Fatigue 5. Slow healing sores or frequent infections Management 1. Lifestyle changes diet exercise 2. Oral medications or insulin The Regular blood sugar monitoring 3. Gestational diabetes Diabetes during pregnancy Gestational diabetes occurs during pregnancy and is characterized by high blood sugar levels that develop in a woman who did not have diabetes before pregnancy. This type usually arises in the second or third trimester and often disappears after the baby is born. However, it increases the risk of developing type 2 diabetes later in life for both the mother and the child. Key Characteristics 1. Pregnancy-related develops during pregnancy. Temporary often resolves post-delivery. 3. Risk factor for future diabetes. Increases the risk of type 2 diabetes later on. Symptoms. 1. Often asymptomatic. 2. Increased thirst and urination. 3. Fatigue. 4. Blurred vision. Management. 1. Monitoring blood sugar levels. 2. Healthy diet and regular exercise. 3. Sometimes insulin or oral medications. Or prediabetes, elevated blood sugar levels. Prediabetes is a condition where blood sugar levels are higher than normal but not high enough to be classified as type 2 diabetes. It's a critical stage that serves as a warning sign, indicating a high risk of developing type 2 diabetes if no lifestyle changes are made. Prediabetes is reversible with timely intervention. Key Characteristics 1. Intermediate state. Blood sugar levels are elevated but not yet type 2 diabetes. 2. Reversible lifestyle changes can prevent progression to type 2 diabetes. 3. Warning sign indicates risk for future diabetes. Symptoms 1. Often asymptomatic. 2. Possible increased thirst and urination. 3. Fatigue. Management. 1. Weight loss. 2. Healthy diet. 3. Increased physical activity. 4. Regular monitoring. 5. LADA. Latent autoimmune diabetes in adults. Type 1.5. LADA is a slow-progressing form of autoimmune diabetes that is often misdiagnosed as type 2 diabetes due to its gradual onset in adults. Like type 1 diabetes, it involves an immune response against the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas, but it develops more slowly, 
and patients might not need insulin for several months or even years after diagnosis. Key characteristics. 1. Autoimmune, like type 1 diabetes but slower onset. 2. Adult onset, typically diagnosed in adults over 30. 3. Initial non-insulin treatment, may not require insulin immediately. Symptoms. 1. Similar to type 1 diabetes but with a slower progression. Increased thirst and urination. 3. Unexplained weight loss. 4. Fatigue. Management. 1. Initially managed with lifestyle changes and oral medications. 2. Eventually requires insulin therapy. 6. MODI, maturity onset diabetes of the young, genetic form of diabetes. MODI is a rare form of diabetes caused by a mutation in a single gene. It typically runs in families and is diagnosed in adolescents or young adults. Unlike type 1 and type 2 diabetes, MODI is not related to autoimmune destruction or insulin resistance, but to genetic defects that affect insulin production. Key characteristics. 1. Genetic basis, caused by a single gene mutation. 2. Family history, often runs in families. Early onset. Diagnosed in young individuals, typically before the age of 25. Symptoms. 1. Mild hyperglycemia. Oh. Increased thirst and urination. 3. Often asymptomatic. Management. 1. Depends on the specific genetic mutation. 2. May include lifestyle changes, oral medications, or insulin. 7. Secondary diabetes. Diabetes resulting from another medical condition. Secondary diabetes is a type of diabetes that results from another medical condition or treatment. Conditions such as Cushing's syndrome, pancreatitis, or certain medications like corticosteroids can lead to secondary diabetes. This type is often managed by treating the underlying condition while also controlling blood glucose levels. Key characteristics. 1. Result of another condition, caused by diseases or treatments affecting the pancreas. 2. Not primary diabetes, arises secondary to other health issues. 3. Management complexity, requires addressing the underlying cause. Symptoms. 1. Similar to other forms of diabetes. You. Symptoms related to the underlying condition. Management. 1. Treating the underlying condition. 2. Lifestyle changes. 3. Medications or insulin therapy. 8. Other types of diabetes, rare forms and specific cases. There are several rare types of diabetes that don't fit neatly into the categories above. These include genetic mutations affecting insulin production, certain autoimmune conditions, and other specific health disorders. Examples include 1. Neonatal diabetes diagnosed in infants, do Wolfram syndrome, a rare genetic disorder that causes diabetes and other symptoms. 3. Cystic fibrosis-related diabetes affects people with cystic fibrosis due to pancreatic damage. Management 1. Varies depending on the specific type and underlying cause. 2. Typically involves a combination of lifestyle changes, medications, and possibly insulin therapy. Conclusion. Understanding the different types of diabetes is crucial for effective management and treatment. Each type has its unique characteristics, causes, and management strategies. By recognizing the distinctions between them, individuals can better manage their condition, and healthcare providers can offer more tailored and effective treatments. For those diagnosed with diabetes or at risk, Adopting a healthy lifestyle, regular monitoring, and working closely with healthcare professionals are key to maintaining good health and preventing complications. Remember, early detection and intervention can make a significant difference in managing diabetes effectively.